What's going on guys? Me and Riley are back here, uh, back for a second part of our Owner Operator vlog series. Uh, where we left off, well, that doesn't even matter because I've I recorded a couple new uh, episodes and the footage was all junk both times. I told myself the second time I wasn't going to make the mistake and I made it again. Can you believe that? Riley. And Riley, yeah, Riley's here. She wanted to go trucking, so we're going trucking. But anyways, the last load, uh, Chad had got me hooked up with a load of fertilizer that went from uh, Kayenta all the way to Sterling, Colorado, uh, to a feedlot. And I'm really glad he lined that up. I met a real nice guy. Uh, he, he runs that feedlot, either owner or manager or something of it. And uh, really easy to work with. I uh, decided to kind of stick around the area overnight. And he said if, if I could stick around, he's got a load of hay for me. And I'd, I'd really like to keep going with this connection here, and uh, maybe I'd be able to work out some more loads in the future. Riley, if you don't stop, I'm going to kick you into the sleeper, okay? We got a vlog to make. Sheesh, dog. I love you, but damn. I'm not, I'm not fighting you. <sighs> Anyways, uh, so, yeah, that was, I don't know, Bushnell Farms feedlot. Um, that was south a little ways. Uh, he's got a load he's picking up from the Sunshine Crops place up north. Uh, really short haul, but he needed it done. Uh, apparently their trucks are down, or the regular drivers are. So we're uh, we're kind of helping him out in a pinch. So uh, I need to call him out. I am here at this farm, and I don't quite know where this load is. They're supposed to have a trailer loaded for me. I'm not sure where it is. It's probably hidden in plain sight, but give him a call here. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Yep. Yeah, it's not so bad, Rick. Yeah, I slept pretty good. No, this thing's pretty comfortable in here. Yeah, I'm still around. I'm up uh, I'm up at this farm here, and I pulled in. I don't immediately see a trailer I'm looking for. It's You said it's step deck, and it's loaded with hay. Round bales? Okay, should be strapped and ready to go. I just have to slam under it. Okay. Well, they should have it ready. Well, it's cool to pull in, drive around, see if I can find it. Okay. I just, yeah, I don't want to step on anyone's feet. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Well, uh, if I have any trouble, I'll call you again. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, all right, well, okay, and when I when I uh, bring it back to you, uh, is it kind of going to the same place I dropped off that fertilizer? I'm pretty close in there. Okay, well... Yeah, if I see you there, uh, I'll stop you quick. Maybe you can show me where to go. But yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, we'll see you. All right. Yep. Bye. All right. So it should be around here somewhere. He said, just drive around, see what you do, or see what you can find. All right, we're running. Let's uh, let's do this. Okay. Well, that that was an interesting experience. Uh, Kind of rude. Uh, they did not want their farm on camera, which I understand, but there is definitely some vulgar language being used. So I just hooked up and got the hell out of there. I'm still gonna get out and check these straps, but I, I wanted to get out of there. Uh, just, <laughs> I gotta hand it to Rick. He can put up with some bullshit, I tell you. Uh, wow, I'll have to tell him about that. But let's let's hop out, check this trailer out, and uh, make sure we're, we're good to go so we don't wreck nothing. Wow, that was something. All right, well, everything looks good. I don't hear no leaks or nothing. I already got that jacked up, obviously, if I cut it out here. Uh, that feels tight. That's tight. Toit, toit. Lights are working fine. That feels fine. Good, good, and good. Right, now, who did the strapping job on this? That we have the ratcheting side on this side for these straps, but not these ones. Can, can anybody answer that one for me? Some people. At least I don't have to be the one to unratchet these. Whatever. Uh, tires look good. Good to go. Hazards and lights are working. Yeah, we should uh, should be good to go. Now nope, let's hit the road. Let's make it happening. Okay, onwards. 
Should be a quick trip back to um, back to Rick's place there, back to the feed yard. Very nice facilities, as I said before. Honestly, I forgot half of the stuff I was talking about on our way up here. That kind of that kind of set me off dealing with people like that. Sometimes you just you gotta have a step back and, and think there's there's bigger things to worry about. But oh well. Let's just get this hay back to Rick. But I guess yeah, that's a part of trucking. I mean, you meet some nice people, you meet some not so nice people. Oh well, that lady, she's just mean old hag. Ugh. I think that's the nicest way to put it, honestly. Uh, I can't even deal with that. I can't keep a straight face talking about her. Lordy. Oh well, Rick Morton makes up for it. That and Chad too. But like I said before, I really wish I didn't lose any of my earlier footage. Ah, damn beautiful country here. But after we get this delivered, we're gonna hit up the boards and see what's available to haul. I did not look at them yet. I should have before I got started. But we can we can check that later. Oh, hypo. We are buckled up, right? No, we are not. You don't seem too concerned about that. Probably bigger things to worry about than truckers not wearing seatbelts. Should probably have that on. My buddy's just giving me shit about that. Sent me a message. Wearing your seatbelt? Unbelievable. Unreal. Fair enough, though. I do need to get them fixed in this thing, though. They don't actually pull out. There's a joke in there that I'm not gonna say. If you know, you know. This is actually pulling pretty dang good. These must be some pretty light bales. Must not be packed very good or something. I guess I thought these would weigh a little more. And here we are. Boo Chanel. Boo Chanel feed yard. Quite the spectacle. A lot of cattle in there. Makes me feel bad for the hamburger I ate yesterday. Gotta suck being right on the tracks here, having to cross tracks to get to your place. And maybe it's not so bad. Oof. Making that a little easier. I do not remember that being so rough last night when I dropped off their fertilizer. Nifty place, though. Well, we'll see if we can find where he wanted me to leave this. Otherwise, I'll, I'll give him a call or something. Or maybe he's out wandering around somewhere. Somewhere in here, I suppose. We had to deliver our fertilizer kind of by this commodity shed here on our left. Said it'd be it was a nice ride. somewhere north of there, I guess. Don't see where he was talking about. You think I could just drop this off anywhere? Like, that'd be a perfect spot right there, but he said no. That's what he says was no. Big old fat no. Okay, there's some hay right there. Is this the little shit he was talking about? Oh yeah, there's the tractor that's in it and our bin we were looking for. Okay. Sweet. Let's get it. Just back it in there. We can drop the trailer. We don't even have to worry about unstrapping. I mean, talk about an easy load. That's why I'm not getting paid much for it. Oh well. And just back right in there, yeah.
plenty clear on my passenger side. Oh, I should have my hazards on too. Let's just do that while we only got a few feet left, okay? in there boys all right that should do it let's uh i'll get out and unhook this thing and get you guys back in a sec all right well leave it to rick uh so i got this trailer unloaded or unhooked here and he tells me that he's got a, another job for me if i wanted to do it for him quick so uh he's got a loaded milk trailer that the truck is that that needs to take it is stuck in Denver right now, uh, but he had some repairs that needed done, so he's waiting there for me at uh, or is gonna be waiting there for me at some uh, rail export yard or something. So we're gonna meet him there in Denver, and he's gonna take it the rest of the way, I guess. Uh, works for me, kind of gets me back on the route that I need to be going. But let's go hook up to this trailer and. Uh, yeah, I guess it worked out perfect. I gotta, I gotta say, I'm, I'm glad Chad got me, got me hooked up with these guys. I think he said it's somewhere on the other side of their parlor or something. Not entirely sure. Oh, geez, that's a nice shop there. Wish mine was that nice. Oh, shoot, there it is, okay. Never mind, I'll find a new route. Ah, oh, shut up, GPS. I, I know you need to find a new route. Or route, whatever you want to call it. It's a route, though. Thinking route. Get it right. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it route or route? I think it's route. I'm gonna hop out, check our fifth wheel height. And back up a little more. How about now? Oh yeah, should be good. And alright, hooked up. Just tug test real quick. Good to go. Fifth wheel's locked. Okay, let's hop out and get this thing hooked up, alright? Good to go there. All right, glad hands hooked up. Electricals in. The lights working okay. Oh, those are good to go. Oh, is this supposed to be a turn signal? I'd imagine that's supposed to be a turn signal. Maybe not. Oh, maybe they're just a running light. I can see the running lights on, so maybe that's fine. These are at least working, so that's good. We've at least got one on the side of the sleeper, if anything. Nothing else, but... Uh, yeah, tires look good. Nothing seems wrong with the trailer, so... Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Alright, let's, uh, let's move onwards. Get these lights off. Don't really need those on. First time pulling a milk tanker. I don't even know if I'm really supposed to be doing this. I don't. I don't have uh, my tank endorsement, my tanker endorsement. So uh, this could be slightly sketchy. Hopefully we uh, we can bypass DOT. I should plan my route around that. Go straight on. I mean, that's my plan. Is I've got my uh, my hazardous 
material endorsement, but I don't have it for tankers or nothing. I can really I can haul them in dry van or on or on whatever, but not not in a tanker. So this should be interesting. Go straight up. I'm gonna just stop here one sec. One second, guys. All right, sorry about that. I had to check something quick. Now let's just move onwards, I guess. Get ready to turn left. I can do that. I can get ready to turn left, and I can turn left for you, GPS. GPS lady. All right, we're clear. Well, here's the test here. Way station in one mile. I don't know how this is gonna go. Or is this the exit? Oh yeah, this is for the way station. Oh, we gotta stop in. And who are these idiots stopped in our way? You have gotta be freaking kidding me. What's going on here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. What is with the traffic today? Is there just something in the air in color? Oh yeah, no, it's the it's the drugs. That's right. How silly of me. It's Colorado. That's what's in the air. Ah, uh, goofed. It's all goofed. Well, let's see what they say. with no uh, identification on it other than the license plates, so. And I'm overweight. This thing, yeah, no, this thing's a tandem. We are a rolling violation, but they're letting me through. <laughs> I feel like I'm on some sort of watch list now. Uh, that is weird. I don't know. Again, it's probably what's in the air. I don't know. Maybe they're, uh, rolling a, uh, joint in there or something? I don't know. Colorado, I tell you. Yeah. yeah, I think I just heard my app go off. You know what? We're here. I see a shop on my map. Maybe we can get our stuff printed out here. I... Okay. Let's fine. just... Play the rest of this safe, how about that? And maybe I can grab some lunch while we're here too. Let's do that. It's a good enough time to stop. Lunch time. And maybe while I'm eating, them guys can print that stuff out for me, I hope. Good facility here. Maybe there's some decent food. Who knows? Where is the shop at, though? Is it? Not sure what is what this is, but truck service. I don't know. Maybe they get this once in a while. Maybe they got a paint guy or something in there. Let's just go on and see what he says.
Well, let's just uh, go inside and I will see what he says. So give me one sec and see what happens. Well, he says he can uh, get something figured out for me. I'm just going to pull the truck up here and I'm going to go get some lunch. And when we get back, I'll have, hopefully have my food all scarfed down and maybe we'll get some uh, decals and stuff put on the truck. So... Bear with me, and we'll be back in a second. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty good. Came out all right, yeah? I guess it's kind of hidden there. Wait, did they screw that up? Salt Lake City UT is what I wanted. For Pete's sake. Uh, I gotta get going though. I'm sure I can have it reprinted somewhere. Let's lazy. Well, maybe not lazy so much as in, just an oopsie. I guess we are in the U.S. though. Oh, we'll patch that up. Maybe that's why he gave me a discount. That was pretty cheap. Good enough guy, though. Let's get the heck out of here. Well, guys, we are within about 30 miles from our destination. Pretty uneventful trip. Just got the new decals on that's got a misprint on it. Mint. But uh, overall, not bad. Just that kind of rough start with that old hag. But hoping I can make my way back out here. Back out east to, to Sterling and Oh, for them guys again, maybe something will come up in the future. You never know. You get hit with all kinds of different stuff here in the trucking business, I tell you. A lot of it's the same, but you can you can definitely get some variation, that's for sure. For sure. Oh show. Sure. I gotta do here. Am I getting over? Am I clear to get over? I am. What's going on? I definitely gotta slow down. That's what's going on there. Oh yeah, we yeah. I went by Keep this right on the way out here. And then exit right. All right. I was gonna say, I hope this isn't in our way of missing our exit or of taking our exit. Right. More destruction Get down right. here, huh? No, I gotta I gotta go straight on. This is a one way. Okay. Go. Oh, gosh, so this one's green. Can Turn I make left. it in time? And then continue straight Give it to berries. Give it to onion. There we go. All right. I need to be in the right lane, though. Get over here. And a stop sign. Okay, wait for this guy to come. 
I guess I'm in the right lane. I don't know why I'd really have to wait. It's just the left lane that would want to stop, right? I guess if you have one lane stop, you'd want both of them too. That or yield sign would be kind of great. You think the ramp would have a yield sign, not keep right and then turn right. Not having to make the guys that are at this stop, you know, look over. They shouldn't have to worry turn about that. Right. What do I know? But here we are. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that guy's truck is ready yet, but he wanted to parked in here somewhere. According to Rick, anyways, I don't know. I don't have this dude's contact info, so maybe I'll call Rick or something when we're done. Eh, looks like the middle lane here kind of looks like the easiest to get through. I don't know. Maybe. Need to pull ahead more. Are they open? Oh, perfect. There you go. Kind of weird. Why are there two of these bars? I need to do anything with this thing. No, I'm gonna just go through, I guess. Ah, beautiful Denver. I guess. I guess you could call it that. Or I don't think I took that wide enough. Finished. Just take her easy here. Be able to sneak her on through, I think. Nope. Definitely hit my wheel on the edge of that. And we'll back her up, take her a little wider. I was say, I wasn't sure if I did that quite wide enough. Definitely not. That's fine. You readjust. Alright. Let's do it this way. How about that? Rookie mistake. I hope nobody saw that too. I bet this is all on camera. Right, I'll just find some spot to dump this thing and call Rick, tell him his driver. Tell his driver that uh, his trailer's ready. There's a good spot over one over another one or something. I'll get out and look. Go ahead and try it. Is it raining? It's just freaking raining. My head is sticking out the goddamn window. Gosh darn it. Well, uh, that's that. I'll get this thing unhooked. I'm gonna call Rick. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for our vlog today. Um, maybe I'll pick up again another load for today, but I'm gonna call it quits for this vlog. I think we got plenty of content for it, so... I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully uh, you'll make it to the next one. And if you haven't watched the first one, be sure to go watch that. So uh, yeah, my name's Randy, my dog Riley. Eh, she's not going to say goodbye to you. But uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And we'll see you guys next time.